you need to set up a broadcast before you start streaming. What does that mean? Oh, I didn't know that this was a thing in OBS now. That's actually really cool. What do we want the title to be for our stream? <laughs> uh, are we going possessions, demons, or demons and possessions? Demon possessions podcast. What is this episode? Um, four. I think it's four. Oh, I think it's going. Everyone get their YouTube app open. See if we're actually on. I see a green dot. There's a green dot on my screen. I can't change yep. my... Yeah, we're ah. live. Perfect. Oh, Cameron, they Cameron is here. Oh, yeah. Cameron. Oh, Cameron is here. Cameron, you just screwed up my OBS. <laughs> Cameron. I'm sorry, Nate said. Please, please. And then I was getting out of the shower, so I hurried up and got on because they asked. <laughs> Sorry, this ruins my setup. Oh, well, we started. Oh, <laughs> as soon as I hit the screen button, man, Cameron, as much as I want you to stay, my my setup's built for four people because that's what I was expecting. Wait, wait, before I go though, where the fuck is Nate? <laughs> that's it. That's me. I, I'm sorry. That's just the one question I have before I leave. All right. Let's get into the actual podcast. <laughs> now that everything's set up. Okay. So, uh, how are you guys doing? Not too bad. Pretty good. I'm going to turn you guys up. What have you guys been uh, been up to? Work. Just work. Other than work, what have you guys been doing? <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, how's work going for you, Ryan? Uh, pretty good. I mean, Devin knows I got two jobs now, so yeah, I've been really? To, yeah, yeah, I've been itching to get to uh get back out and do an investigation soon. Soon, my friend. I know. It's so close. <laughs> Wait, no, sir. I almost think, because you know how Discord has that um that green overlay when someone's speaking? Yeah. I almost think it might be good for, like, if we do this again, um, I'll, like, change my OBS so that way it actually shows the green so people know who's speaking. But thankfully, you guys have your video on, so they'll know who's speaking. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Devin, no one asked you. So, um... <laughs> For the podcast, we are currently streaming on our YouTube channel, and for our YouTube channel, we're currently making a podcast episode. So get fucked, what? YouTube. But you're a part of it. Wow. Part of it. <laughs> um. So Ryan, uh, I believe yes. you uh came up with the topic of the uh today's episode. Would you like to see yep. what that uh that topic is? As you guys know, I, I'm very interested in demons and possessions. So I thought it would be kind of cool to get your guys' thoughts on that and just talk about it a little bit. Some of the famous possessions, I guess, and the steps of possession. Hang on a second. My dad is calling me, so you guys do your thing. Uh, anyways, um, I don't actually know a lot about possessions. Um, me either. I know, like... I know, like, the famous two. ones, but, like, I don't really know how else to explain um, other than what happened to Nate at that uh, recently, but it's not that wasn't really a possession, so. No, he was Wait. affected, and Wait, unfortunately, well, will you let us explain? <laughs> uh, Fucking Devin. We love Devin. Just making that clear. But, yes, yes, of course, um, of course. Uh huh. <laughs> um, so that video, it won't be released because we got asked not to release it. But what happened with Nate was I've never seen Nate act like this. He pretty much kind of like balled up into a ball. Best way I can describe describe it in like fetal position. Yeah, no. yeah. Fetal. No, that's and... that's exaggerating it quite quite frankly. <laughs> no, 
he had his hands uh, in his face and his, his body was hunched over, kind of like near his lap. Um, and was yeah. unresponsive. Well, not the fetal position. No, but no. it was close. Um, and he wasn't responsive to us, and then he finally came out of it, and he didn't know where he was, and Amanda, they pretty much almost, at least to me, seemed connected somehow. I, I don't know. It was a weird. It was a weird moment. Yeah. Oh, oh this is really, where really? I didn't get to right. Huh? Obviously, this is the one. <laughs> the one. I know that. But I'm saying it's, it was the second investigation that same day. Is what you're. Which one? Right. Uh huh. Did we do one? <laughs> oh yeah, we did. Uh, we yeah, did. we did. Episode three, that. Yeah. Haunted Haven. That's yeah. what I was. That's what I was wondering. Like, when yep. when did this one happen? Because I never heard of it until now. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. So that one. Yeah. Which I was a little afraid because, well, I rode with Nate after. <laughs> I remember <laughs> getting in the car, and I remember I mean, you pulled out and was. You know, at the T intersection, waiting to get out of the parking lot, and uh, me and Nate pulls up behind you, and then Nate just says, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" Not even realizing that it's you. After he just saw you get into the car, we I was afraid for my life. Yeah, we were, we were the only. <laughs> I was like, "This fucker is fucking." We're in the parking lot. Is this guy still possessed? What's going on? And then we went fine, to the but... store, and he still. He still was kind of out of it. Yeah, I don't really remember much, like when it happened. I mean, I remember certain uh, parts. But... So, he was fine to drive. Just gonna put, I'm just gonna put that out there. I make fun of it, but he he was, he yeah. was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Although, who knows? It did scare me a little bit. <laughs> the one thing I didn't fine and i'm sure it's out there somewhere but i mean as you can see i just got done work i'm in my car so i didn't have a lot of time of how many confirmed possessions exorcisms that have taken place and to be a confirmed case it has to go through the vatican really or at least or at least a catholic church the vatican has to give permission to the, the catholic church to perform in a uh <laughs> yes thank you Devin. so that's, uh, that's interesting i didn't know that if you're a different religion i don't really know how that works and i'm well, trying to learn more and more about it um I just know a lot about the Catholic side because I I was brought up as a Christian and the Catholic Church, I guess, are close to each other. So just the Christian Church won't deal with the paranormal. The Catholic Church does. Oh, okay. so. Yeah. Huh. You know, that's actually interesting to think about. How do you how would you think different religions handle po uh, possessions and stuff? Um, Christians, obviously, um, I don't want to say they don't believe in it because I mean, I'm Christian and <laughs> but this is what I do. Um, but they don't really, I guess, acknowledge it as much. Uh, Catholics, definitely, they believe and they will, um, they'll be the ones that deal with it. Um, and like I said, I'm trying to learn the different um, religions and how they deal with stuff because let's say we went to someone's house and they're of a different religion. I don't want to say, well, you got to go to the Catholic church. Yeah. And, and that's against their religion. So, I mean, I would wonder, because when they do, like, exorcism stuff, you know, they always say, you know, 
you know, cast down to hell, you know, go back to hell. Right. Or but I mean, hell doesn't exist in every religion. So I wonder right. how exorcisms would go in a different religion and stuff. It's kind of interesting to think about. Yeah, I mean, I know that there there has to be cases like that in other religions. Oh, definitely. I imagine, uh, I imagine the process is maybe kind of the same, but like religiously somewhat in their own way. Yeah, that's what I would guess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't know much. Like, I barely know anything about possessions. Have you, have you guys ever been possessed? Like, I know the answer for Nate, but I don't know about you and Devin. So, I think the closest. I mean, if go ahead, Ryan. What was that? That was sound effect. Welcome back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just heard a female voice, and I'm like, maybe. I oh my god, it. it's haunted. <laughs> yeah. well, there is a haunted place nearby where I'm at, so who knows? Um, where without giving it too much away, but I know we didn't get it on camera. I mean, I actually did kind. I got like a snippet on camera. But Did I you? didn't. I didn't include it in because I didn't get the uh, Lou coming to us part, and I didn't get the part of camera uh, and that stuff. That part was uh, But I think the closest I've ever been was the main investigation, or you know, sleep paralysis. I had sleep paralysis before. Um. Which, if you guys haven't, that's probably one of the most scariest things I've dealt with. Um, yeah, I would say that would be my extent to a possession. Sleep paralysis, I hope to never have. <laughs> yeah, was, it's uh, definitely. I was on YouTube. It was actually, I think, was it today? It was either today or yesterday. I was browsing YouTube. <laughs> And I was looking at, like, um, because I like to, like, play, like, a casual game and have some on in the background. So I'm like, oh, let me look for, like, a casual playthrough or something. And I see that there's a game. I, I should have looked at what it was called, but it was a game centered around sleep. Um, What is it called again? Sleep paralysis. And yep. I, I, the thumbnail to me, I was like, that's a nope for me. And I just scrolled past <laughs> it. But it, it was so creepy. It was... Just imagine having any like waking up and then seeing a figure like hovering above you or sitting at the end of your bed or you know a hand you know goes around your ankle right. or something just yeah you know, it's creepy stuff Devin? yeah have you ever been possessed not that I know. Of. That's a that's like, a fair answer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like there's times where I'll like wake up and I don't know if it is sleep paralysis or not, but like it's usually from a nightmare. Like if I know like the way I think of this is like I'll be dreaming of something that I know it's a nightmare and I'll instantly just wake up and my body is just like I don't know how to explain it, like, kind of like sleep paralysis, like, I can't move, and I feel like something's, like, watching me, but, yeah, I, I and then it's, yeah. but then it's, like, I can, like, about a minute or like, two later, I can just move around, and I'll be fine, that's the way I see things, like, interesting, I wouldn't say that, yeah, I wouldn't say that's, like, full-on sleep paralysis, but, it sounds like you got some sort of paralysis there. So, I just don't I've, um, it. I've never been possessed, but I've seen like oh, I've never had like sleep paralysis, but I've had creepy things happen when I'm sleeping, and it's not real. So I have something called um, hypnagogic, I think hypnagogic hallucinations. It's basically, you know how you guys dream or whatever, 
Well, the way that my body works is whenever I'm trying to sleep and I'm thinking of something in my mind and I may be drifting off to sleep, but all of a sudden, you know, I, I open my eyes to turn around, roll over. Well, my body is still somewhat in that REM state. So it starts to see things that aren't actually there. Um, it's kind of like... I had that once when I was a kid. The way you explain uh, that, that's literally how I feel. Like, it happened to me as when I was younger. Yeah. And it's, it, yeah. the best way I can explain it is, have you guys ever felt so scared from a dream you wake up and you still feel like you're about, like, you're in danger or something? Or yeah. You're... That's yeah. basically exactly yep. what it is. You feel things, you see things, you hear things that aren't actually there. Um, and it was most recently, I, was it the most recent one? I don't think it was the most recent one, but I would say, I think it was last week, um, I rolled over and I saw my coat hanger floating in front of my face. And then I saw it go and hang itself back in my closet. Now... Just for the record, I thought it was paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> because every single time I like I, I hallucinate at night like that, it's usually, oh, I see a cobweb floating in front of my face. Or oh, there's a spider on my ceiling that's not actually there. You know, so I get up out of my bed and I grab something to go kill it and oh it's gone. And it's like, well I mean there's nowhere it could have gone from here, so you know, but that was the first ever time I've actually seen like something floating in front of my face and like I watched it move. I thought it was paranormal. And so I was kind of like, can you do that again? And nothing happened. <laughs> and that's when and my that's senses came. That's why my senses came to me and was like, fuck it. I'm hallucinating. And I, I went back to bed cause I'm just used to it. But it was, I don't know. That's probably the most that I've ever experienced experienced that i guess i would say i don't know you know it's uh i can't sleep with the door open i can't i can't no, that's why that's why I, I meant to say that's why i keep everything closed because if something opens up if i wake up something's open i know the hell i didn't do it <laughs> no, I was. Um, I, I, well, see, I have an excuse though, because there are some, some very slight times, um, I've slept walked, and it was mainly when I was a kid, but, um, I still do it very rarely, and so sometimes there are times where I would wake up, and like my door would be open, or like my covers are just completely off of me and all on the floor. It's like what? <laughs> It's like, well, that was probably oh, me when I was sleeping. I don't know why, but... <laughs> that was like, uh... After we did the main investigation, it was freaking... I swear, I had my Apple Watch on my wrist. And I always put on my right wrist, okay? This was where my bed, like... My bed is in a corner right now, but it wasn't, like, the center, but the head part was against the wall. All of a sudden, I wake up, and all of a sudden, it's on the floor. Like, on the right-hand side first night i'm like okay did i just not forget to hook it in before i went to bed or did it just fall off mm -hmm. and all of a sudden the second night i do the same thing i usually put my watch on and next thing you know it's on the freaking left side of my bed and i don't even sleep on the on my left side i'm like thinking, how the hell are you on the left hand side hey <laughs> <laughs> that's just weird <laughs> That's a little weird. That's a little weird. But then again, it was after that main investigation. You know what they said. Yep. Yep. So. Because there also be times I'll just be laying in bed, and next thing you know, I'm just sitting still, and I, it just feels like my bed's like kind of like moving a little bit, like wavy. But. I felt that too. That's weird. But yeah. they also said that after the main investigation. So. I'm glad I wasn't the only one that felt that then. Because after the main investigation, it was like it was shaking the bed, but it wasn't like shake. It was more like a a vibration. Wave. It was like yeah. a wave yeah. vibration yeah. kind of feel. It was. Yep. I didn't like it. <laughs> but. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mind it. Like. <laughs> it's not a massage, Devin. Exactly. <laughs> 
I don't mind it, he says. Yeah, I don't mind it. <laughs> Where the hell is our Nets fan in Boston? Uh, what? Hey, did you, uh... I'm watching a Red Sox and Yankee game, and they have a Mets fan there. Did you experience anything after the main investigation, Nate? This, this Not is afterwards, no. I think right when we got back, it was pretty much fine. Or at least I was. Okay. Wait, did Nate go with us? He didn't yeah. go with us. No, he didn't. No. Wait, no, not to no. the main one. No, not to the main one. No. Right, no. yeah. I don't know why I he almost did. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb. He almost did, uh, but... Yeah, that one. There was something different about it without giving too much away. Um, Actually, it felt. What was that? I'm gonna be releasing the um, the trailer on Monday, so awesome. We can. It's basically the only thing that's really in the trailer is like. Yeah, I saw it. Wait, what do you mean you saw it? I haven't... Have I shown you guys it yet? Was it on I don't know. Yeah, you showed me. Yeah. Unless you did more uh, stuff I did. It. I just finished oh. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't see I didn't see the updated one. I saw okay. the old one. Right. It basically, it's just um, the interview that we had. And then a bunch of things overlaid on top of it. So we can talk about like what will... was said in the interview and stuff, but yeah, I mean, what was obviously Nate wasn't there, but what were your guys' first thoughts when you guys were doing the interview? Because me and Cameron, we went around to get try to get a baseline with the uh, EMF. Well, oh yeah, me and Justin did the interview, right? Me and you were inside. Yeah, him. right. What I mean, what kind of happened was so usually when we go to someone's home and they they tell us what's been happening there, you kind of get, I guess, um, goaded. Like you believe them, yeah. But there's yeah. you always want to debunk, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so you got that skeptic side. Yeah, you get that skeptic side. When I went to the main investigation. I knew it was real for some reason. Like, I didn't have any skepticism for anything that she said during the interview. I don't know if you guys felt that way at all, but the way that she said it, I don't know. It it, it was a lot she like she was terrified. talking from experience. Yeah, she was terrified. I mean, she was living in a trailer next to the actual property because she couldn't live in the property. She was that scared right. of it. So, like, I guess... I guess the context maybe did it for me. Maybe it was the context that made me um, not be so skeptical about it. But I, I mean... think out of out of everything, I, I I think it was the first night. Do you guys remember at the end of the night when we got done our investigation? She warned us: do not go into the woods. Oh, that was I forgot about that. <laughs> And I'm only bringing it up because we didn't film it, so... Yeah, but the GPS... The <laughs> GPS took us through the woods in Maine. And Cameron's is, sitting next on, to me. Before you say anything, when when we went to the investigation, it did not take us that way. It only no, took us that way didn't. when we were leaving. <laughs> right. Gotta love, gotta love Google Maps. <laughs> okay. Devin... Devin. I will have a time here. <laughs> that was so scary. The fact that she's like, oh, stay away from this specific forest. And we were like, oh, we don't even know where that is. And then we go home. And then as we're driving mm-hmm. back to the Airbnb, it just takes us through a very scary, shady forest. <laughs> we don't know if it was the actual forest, but I don't think it, it was. took us into the woods. No, I don't think it was either, but it took us into the woods. Yeah, it took us into and the I woods. And I swear, I don't know if it just because I was tired and 
I swear I was seeing things on the side oh, of the road. Me too. I kept on seeing like uh like almost animal like creatures within the trees and I was like, I'm just waiting for us to turn a corner and see a woman in white. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. Are we uh, yeah, are we right? Going to be anytime soon? Uh yeah. Uh so we actually can I release that? Yeah, uh, go ahead. So uh yeah. for the next Halloween special we're going there. We're going back there and we're actually gonna spend the entire night there um yep and we're gonna try to sleep and see what happens but devin we talked about it I, 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 hey I, i'm still up for my idea i don't know if uh wait what's you your idea what's your idea just put a camera in the room and i'll just oh, sleep and I'll just tired. oh no we we <laughs> plan on doing that for the wilson's castle as well so don't worry That's it'll cool. happen i yep. thought that was our halloween special yeah, for next it, year. Next year, it's going to be the main investigation. This year, it's the Wilson's Castle. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Because uh, Lulu is still fixing up the house. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do you remember what she said she wanted to do with the house? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't know if we should say that, though. Should we? Are we no, allowed to say but... that? No? I don't think so. No, you guys are no. I don't remember. But we'll put it in the chat. Yeah, yeah. We'll put it someone else put it in the chat because <laughs> but, uh, I can't because you know the stream will see. Ryan, remember the house we yeah. did on Main Street in our town? Yeah. Have you drove by it recently? Yeah. It actually looks really better than what it was before. Yeah, yeah it does. So they I wonder actually if, got uh, windows in. And... Yeah, so I wonder if we can go back there again and try something different or... Uh, maybe. Um. But oh my god. I completely forgot to tell you guys. This is a little bit unrelated. I apologize. So, I figured out how to put the entirety of Google Maps in the Unreal Engine. <laughs> and so, if we ever visit, like, a city, like, example, Rhode Island, or, like, New York City or something, I can use... So not even I don't even need drone shots. I can just boot up the Unreal Engine with that and make it make the day. I guess I don't know, but I recently That's discovered okay. how to do that. Yes, yes. I one day I was in bed and I was like, I wonder if there's a way you can connect Google Maps to Unreal Engine. And I looked it up and there was a way. There was a way. Hmm. Can't take advantage of that sometime soon. It, it was literally a five-minute setup. I was like, holy shit. So, I brought up the main investigation because trying to stay on topic. Sorry. <laughs> I do feel... No, no, you guys are fine. We got off topic. I do feel like there might be something uh, demonic there. Definitely. Um, we didn't get, well, I shouldn't say we didn't, but we, it, how do I want to put it? It wasn't like, you know, stuff floating up in the air, things being thrown at us, but there were definitely signs of something demonic there. Yeah. And... Just the stories that Lulu and her sister were telling us, I would not be surprised if something got summons there. Yeah. And that brings me to another thing. Did you guys know the only way for a demon to attach itself to a property or to you you have to Permission. invite it. Yeah. Permission, yep. yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about that, which is kind of insane to think about because at so... the main investigation, there's like two different types whenever you do investigation. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it's silent and you think, oh, there's nothing here or it really doesn't want to talk to us. And then there's the silent, like, this fucking thing's a demon. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> there's two different types of silence and that was the silence that we had at the main investigation. We were like, this is a fucking chupacabra or some shit. Yeah. 
Um, but that's what I try to warn people about all the time when they say they want to go ghost hunting, you know, more towards Halloween. And I'm like, well, just by going, just by going ghost hunting, you're inviting something. And that's the, that's the real danger of doing this. And I don't know if you guys see all the time we get warned like, oh, you guys don't know what you're dealing with or, you know, we do. We, we, we know the consequences. We, we know the risks. Um, I mean, Nate and Tristan are the newest members to the team. And I, I think you guys understand the risk that comes with doing this. Not every ghost needs that permission. So whenever you go ghost hunting, it's more, um, you're putting yourself in harm's way. Right, right. I'm saying, uh, demons. Yeah. You know, you can get, you can get a attachment from, you know, Bob the ghost, <laughs> but it, it, it's not. <laughs> That's an inside joke because no one's going to know who Bob is. <laughs> exactly. Um, but it's not demonic. You know, uh -huh. it, it, it might follow you home and, you know, mess around with your books or open doors, but it's not demonic. There's four steps to a demonic possession. And it's... Step? I'm getting there. <laughs> um, Mr. Um, impatient over here. The first one is... I'm trying to throw a joke out there. Come on. Go fly yourself, Devin. The first... <laughs> <laughs> wow. The first step is... Let the man speak. <laughs> The, the first step is infants in, I can't say it. Wow. Can in, say the word? Impotence? No. Infants. In yes. I, I can't say it. Uh, so Infestation? You... Yeah, oh. infestation. infestation. Yes, yes. That's the first one, and... That's usually, you know, the three knocks, doors opening, slamming, stuff like that. And I believe the house in Maine, that's uh, that step. Really? Um, yeah, because, I mean, no one lives in the house. So it doesn't have, it doesn't have, you know anyone it can attach itself to because like Lulu said it's it won't go outside the house oh you might want to read number two then <laughs> I think it's at number two you think number two yeah I All right, think it's yeah, I, uh, I just want to I got to go back to and make so sure two, that so number two is oppression can I just so explain I mean, kind okay. of what these steps are real quick well, I was going to do that. Yeah, go ahead. Want to go ahead. <laughs> okay, Devin. I already have it up right here. So I have it up, like... too. I've been reading it. So, infestation is the first step, and um, it's basically a haunted house type stuff. Footsteps, voices, apparitions, furniture, or other objects moving without human agency. Um, odors with no source, um, rather than directly affecting people, infestations affect only the property, objects, or even animals. So that's why we kind of thought it was number one because it was only really affecting the property. But on number two, step two, um, oppression. Activity steps up with physical attacks, sleep disturbances, including regular nightmares, frequent and severe illnesses, major depression or anxiety, severe financial or employment problems, and relationship troubles. While these things happen in the normal course of life, all of them happening at once or in a rapid succession could be a sign of demonic presence. Okay. Well, so 
I think it might be number two, but not to that extent. I think it's just the I've seen like because Lulu talked about how she's been bitten before by it, which I've right. never heard so of anything wonder... biting like that. Um, but thing like sleep disturbances and you know regular nightmares like that that seems pretty evident there. Like it was right. like a, um, not one, but like a low two, like a one and a quarter or one and a half. But I wonder mm-hmm. if it's because she was spending more time in the house, it went to two, but now she's not in the house. You know what I mean? It went back to one. I yeah. don't know. Um, just by the time, just the two days we were there, I feel like it was uh, one going to two. Because I feel like the second day it was kind of used to us and was like, yeah. all right, you want to play? I don't know if it was at that stage because some of the stuff no. that, and this is why we kind of thought it was demonic because we heard the stories and we really believed the stories. But the fact well, that it wasn't doing anything like that to us seemed like it's only going to do it on its terms, not our terms. So the fact that we have Cameron uh, yeah. saying, That's oh, do this, do that. You want to throw me out? Do it. I mean, it's not going to do it because <laughs> it wants to do it. On no, this yeah, definitely. But I mean, remember, the second night is when we all got affected. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I got I got affected probably the first night more, I think. Really? I think so. And I, I think Cameron would agree on that, too. Well, no, so... maybe not. I think I think I was affected more on the first night, but I'm not very susceptible. So I think right. people that second, were more susceptible night, were affected more on the second night. I slept the light on the second night. <laughs> the second night definitely was, I guess, the more scary night. Yeah, um, it was. So... I I, I just feel me. like the more the more time that is spent in that house, the more affected you're gonna be, and you know possibly be possessed. That's what I feel. Yeah, kind of interesting now to see. Uh, kind of interesting to go there now. I mean, I mean, I think she said it in the video. I'm almost positive. I, I think it's in the trailer, actually. I mean, for a priest to go there and say that they wouldn't even step on the property. Yeah. So. Yeah. That was that was pretty crazy. Um, yeah. And I wish and we... For every... Because there, were, there was a part in the second night that we weren't getting anything. So we were like, oh, let's just turn off the camera and see what happens. And we turned off the cameras, and shit started to go down. Um, I know, I mean, yeah. Ryan wasn't possessed, but he lost track of time, um, wasn't fully uh-huh. conscious. And then, you know, we we took Ryan across the street <laughs> and hung out for a little bit, trying to calm down. That was Cameron. Uh, no, it was Ryan. No, it was me. And then oh, Lulu yeah, comes right. over, and yeah, that's Lulu's yeah. like the homeowner basically um and pretty much hugging at cameron yeah she was like yeah me and you got to go in the house uh it wants yeah. us in the house uh no one else just me you no equipment no lights no nothing me you in the house and this is the same person that lives in the trailer not on the property because she's too scared and she was terrified yeah. through the investigation like there was a time where she actually ran away from me and Ryan. Yep. And we didn't know what to do because we thought she heard something that we didn't hear. So, like, are we safe? <laughs> I don't think I was filming at the time, but it was literally uh, on the ovulus. It said, like, turn. And she just, she ran out the door. She ran down the steps and ran out the door. And I'm like, oh, should we be running? <laughs> um, so the fact that she said that with, like, a straight face, it was... It was scary, and I wish we got it recorded because I think that's why it really like that's what that, that that's what made that night so scary. I mean, when you watch I the mean, actual video, it, it seems like the first night was more scary. 
I mean, even her sister told us she's never seen her do something like that. So, yeah. and that was that was the other thing is when Lulu snapped out of it, you know, because literally Cameron was like, "I right, I'll go in there," and then they get up to the door or whatever, and she snaps out of it. But like yeah. Lulu's like, "Why are you trying to get me? Like, why are you trying to lure me into the house? What are you doing?" And then her sister comes over, like, "No, these are the things that you said." And she's like, "Huh?" <laughs> she's like, "Lulu, you said these yep. things." <laughs> yep. I mean, to have your very own sister come over and tell you, like, you literally just told this to them, and you'd be like, "I don't remember saying any of that stuff." It's a little scary. Yeah. It's a little scary. It definitely. It was definitely more scary, I guess, to put it, than the Conjuring House. And the Conjuring mm. House is supposed to be the, the most haunted one. place, and <laughs> is uh, supposed to be the most haunted place in America. Mm. And I would, I don't agree with it. I don't know if we, I don't know if we just went on an off night or what, but. Maybe that we. Uh, I don't know. I think we got more stuff. Maybe we just didn't put the pieces together, so they wouldn't give us anything. Hey, speaking of the Conjuring House, I don't want to get into it because I'm pretty sure we signed a contract saying we can't talk about it. But have you guys seen what they've been posting? No. No. On no, Facebook. no. Just go on Facebook and search up the Conjuring House. Doing it. It's, like they're on Facebook. Don't say anything, Tristan, but... Don't say anything. Wait, why can't I say it's... anything? Well, I guess I'll find I, I out once I look can. at it. Wait, hold on. Which Facebook page? Is it like a... It's their Facebook page. So, let me just say this. When we went to the Conjuring house, everything was fine. I mean, I... I have no complaints. Our tour guide was awesome. And speaking of possessions, we asked him, what What do we do if uh, we get possessed? And he's like, ah, I don't know. I'll probably just grab my camera too. Um, but I don't know what's going on with them. Like, I just learned about this a couple days ago. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not really seeing no, anything no. here that's so, on their page. Do you see the post that says uh, that they have new shirt? Yeah. New shirts? Oh, yeah. Okay. Go into the comments, but you gotta... When you go into the comments, click on all comments. Because I think they're hiding those uh, comments. They're just posting very weird stuff. I see the post that Jason Hawes made. Wait, Jason Hawes? Wait, before that, they, they made a post saying that the person that... Was supposedly yeah. in a truck looked like Jason Hawes. Yes. That's pretty interesting. All right. Um... And I don't know. There, There's apparently a new owner. I don't know if, if it's the same owner when we went. Or if she just took over this year. But a lot of people are not happy with her. I still don't know um, what happened, but I I don't know exactly what happened, but reading those comments, I'm like, whoa, if these are true, um I don't know if I would go back. Or well, maybe the owner's just like, you know, so you know what? Unless if like maybe they get new owners and then I don't know. I think maybe it dies down. From well, that. yeah, I I know that they got new owners. 
I just don't know when uh, they took over. I don't right. know the exact if they were the owners when we went, but uh, yeah. So. Oh yeah, I've kind of seen all the stuff now. Yeah, are you? Yeah. Yeah. So. She, to me, and if you read through the comments, it's almost like she's trying to play a possessed person mm. with mm. the comment or with the post. If you read the comments before the post, you can kind of see it. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't really have anything bad to say about them. Like I said, we had a fantastic tour investigation there. Um, but. If uh, yeah, all the so. stuff I read is true uh, oh. about what's going on there, I'm kind of glad we went before all this. I just right, that, that's what uh... I. Sorry, I just looked at Jason Hall's Facebook and I see a post. It's like, if things with the Conjuring House owner wasn't crazy enough, this poor guy, and it just sent a video. Oh, I can't, really? I can't watch the video, because then it'll play the audio on stream, but... Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um. <laughs> but yeah, so... What step were we on? Were we on uh, two? two? Yeah. Devin? Yeah, we're on two. You take it okay. over, Devin. See if you can Continue. do better. Continue. I got to take over what? Uh, you no, got you oh, fought, wait. You fought you for this. It, Remember what you fought for, Devin. <laughs> fight for your rest. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at the contract at the Condor house that we got to sign, but I don't think it's... I don't know why but my trailer feels like it's fucking unbelievable. I mean, I... We didn't say anything bad. We're just speaking what everyone else can see on Facebook. Um... Uh, no, I know that. I'm just saying, like... No, I'm just sitting in my, I'm sitting in my room in my chair, and I just feel like my trailer, like, my room is just rumbling, but there's no cars driving by. It's so. probably just an earthquake. Good It's kind of scary for the skeptic to say that, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, he doesn't know what the fuck's going <laughs> on, but it's something's going down. <laughs> yeah, last time the camera call was 16 minutes ago. Those are. Yeah. All right. What's step three? I'll let Devin. Okay. Do. So... Oh, yeah. I can think of it. Yeah. Um, well, I'm pulled up. <laughs> Step three is obsession. As mm -hmm. the name implies at the stage, the ill-stated... Afflicted. Is that really? Afflicted, yeah. Person has a hard time functioning, being constantly preoccupied with thoughts of the demonic activity commanding his or her life, and frequently with thoughts of suicide as well. Sleep becomes nearly impossible. All three of these stages can be addressed by a competitive deliverance minister. However, the last stage is reserved for official exorcists. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Am I at this stage? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I have trouble sleeping like at night. I, I think about I think about this stuff. Quite <laughs> possibility. Um I think everyone's at a step three. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. That's kind of and... crazy that the last sentence says, however, the last stage is reserved for official exorcist. So they don't actually do official yep. exorcist until it gets to step four. Right. Well, That's hopefully by this time, you contact Sorry. You contact 
a paranormal team. And I guess technically you don't have to, but it's better if you do because we can get video evidence for the church. And then they can send it to the Vatican to get the permission. Um, so at this stage, what the church can do without permission, I believe, is a blessing of the house and sage in it. Um, but at this point, also, you're very deep into it. So they might just go right to the last step. That's interesting. Which is, Devin? Well, before you get into that, I just wanted to also say that, you know, Lulu and her sister were looking for a paranormal team. And everyone right. that she contacted told them that they just needed a priest. And they were like, no shit, but we just wanted someone <laughs> to come in and, you know, test their equipment and stuff. Um, well, not, not, they wanted a val validation. Exactly, exactly. Of what was going um, on. So just more of like, a, I guess, advice for anyone that needs a paranormal team, contact like someone local. Because uh, if you contact someone in like Ghost Adventures or Ghost Hunters or um, whoever, right. they might be more inclined to say no. We're not talking bad about them. No, we're not. But we're just saying that they're probably going to tell you, hey, we can't help you. You need you. And then they'll, they'll give you that guidance to say this is where you need to go. But if you want a paranormal right. team, you might need to just go to someone local. And a lot of local paranormal teams, at least us, we don't charge for anything. I mean, how far was it to Maine? It was five hours. Five hours, yeah. And Lulu tried, you know, to pay us, but I said no. So, Wait, what's she gonna? What, I think what, I'm what should have we paid her? What, what should? What, yeah, what was what she, was she pay us, us for? <laughs> Well, no, I don't even know how much. Oh, no, okay. gas. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. I was like, um, what's she going to pay us for? We didn't really do anything other than get Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> um, just for coming. I mean, some people are like that, and yeah. that's what made it more real to me is she was willing to pay us just for going there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's another thing. If a team says... You know, we charge $100 for an investigation. Eh, maybe stay away from them. Mm -hmm. That's just my experience. You shouldn't be charging money Yeah. That's when you're trying really to help point. people. Because um, I think it was whenever we had a really big problem at the Levitt house where, you know, we still had that ghost that watched Cameron sleep. Um, and I was talking to, uh, you guys are not going to know who they are, but Nate will know who they are. I was talking to Nex, uh, their yep. uh, friend from school. Um, and you know, I was, cause they're kind of, they're not a median, but they were, they're like a median in training. And I was asking if they knew anyone that wouldn't charge anything because I don't want, I don't want to contact someone and then them say, oh yeah, you're going to need this, you know, you're going to have to pay up if you want these, whatever. And I'm like, I'm sure you might be legit, but I want someone that's actually going to be coming here to help, not to possibly make up a story to get money out of it, you know? Yeah. Um, and then there was that one person that came over, um, and then one of my sister's friends came over. But what was crazy was when I was talking to Nex, you know, they said, good luck finding someone that will do that kind of stuff for free. And that's when that kind of, yeah. I was like, really? I was like, wow, that's kind of, that's a little yeah. messed up. Uh, but yeah. I, one of my sister's friends is a median, you know, and she came over. She was wonderful. She saged the, and she, she saged it correctly, by the way. <laughs> she saged it all the way through and told us exactly, hey, you have actually three spirits here. We thought we only had two. She said there was like, there was one, he's a male and she described him and we were like, holy shit, that's exactly what's been happening. 
And then they said, oh, uh, you know, there's a female that likes to hide in the bathroom. And I'm like, oh, my God, that makes so much sense. Because there was one time Cameron came home and was like, honey, I'm home. And then I heard a female come from the bathroom to say, where were you? Right? So wow. she was, she knew she was connected. And maybe I should text her, see if she wants to come to Wilson's Castle. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. And then she said that there was like a, another spirit. And we were like, what do you mean? Because we didn't know any of an other spirit. And she said, yeah, he likes to hang outside the property. And then that's when it hit us. Like, we have never investigated outside the property. So no wonder why we haven't gotten him. Uh, but yeah, huh. it's... I'm curious what, what happened if you guys did. I mean, we did only sage the house. So I'm sure we still have a spirit Everything. outside the property. He probably planted our wasp nest. Um, I just remember that night after, cause I stayed home from work and we saged and then, you know, I drove, I drove Cameron back to the house and I didn't tell him because I knew that whatever it was, was following him. So we knew that it wasn't going to be in the house when we saged it. So we walked through the door, he walked in and then we closed the door and I just told him straight up, whatever it was following is no longer, it's not going to, it's not going to come inside the house. And he got really, he, I've never seen him like this but he was truly grateful he was actually just really happy that whatever was following him is only going to be able to follow him once he leaves the house it's not actually going to follow him inside the house because of the barrier that we set up um i think i was uh with you guys when you did that right i think so because I, I remember so. like when that happened the the motion light outside just kept going on and off like repeatedly yeah 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 it was anyways that's kind of going off topic but that was the fact that like if you find a paranormal team that's not going to charge you anything that's usually the paranormal team that you might want because that means they're not in it for the money like we're not in it for the money but we like the exposure that we get from it and we we like to just generally help um also yeah, the, more the, only... do it, the more trust we'll get and the more that we can do it more so the only thing I ever ask anyone is if we're allowed to film. Yeah. And if they say yes, but can you not put it up on Facebook or YouTube? Yep, that's no problem. We just want to film just in case something happens. And private just in case we caught it. Yes. Like if we do an investigation, and someone doesn't want the location to be like... When we say the main investigation, they wanted to keep it private. So we don't actually say where it was in Maine. We just say the main investigation. Right. But now the other question to that is, didn't she also say that she didn't want any pictures of the house either? Or just she did. But they also said no, she film started... outside, and then they kind of let us filmed outside. Okay. <laughs> they didn't yeah, really she... have any objections to it. I imagine if yeah, I'll she, I, I did ask her, I asked her if the pictures were okay. She said, yeah, that's fine. So, um, and we did send the video to them and they said that it was fine. Like the edited version. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she, uh, she's, she's actually excited about it being released. Um, when is it going to get released? Do we have a date? Um, I believe it's a August 13th. Of course yeah. on 13th. <laughs> well it would have gone up like a week ago but i mean i'm just listen i'm just grateful you gave me the clips devin <laughs> i don't want to sound like i'm not grateful yeah, you know if you, if you had a samsung <laughs> i've been busy okay uh-huh yeah yeah busy I'm just glad you don't edit the videos. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, 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 Devin. Was it the last time we went to the Wilson Castle you were supposed to edit it? And you ended up... Yeah, I think he was. Or was that... Uh... Um... Um... Burke. It was a Halloween investigation, and he was supposed to the, edit one. I think it was the Burke one, but I thought I did do that one. I did do Burke. It was one of the Halloween investigations you were supposed to do, and 
something happened and I had to finish it and it had to be up that day. So I had to pull an all nighter and Oh yeah, that was what was gonna happen. <laughs> and do the best I could. That was what was gonna happen. Yep. <laughs> so I Is promise oh, damn. I promise this video, this Halloween special will be better than the first one. Which that actually reminds one. me, yeah. Ryan, would you be yes. okay with editing episode three of Haunted Haven so that way I can edit the Halloween special? Yeah, that's that's not okay. a problem. I'll see if I, I still have it. Um, it's when Wait, we, um, was... you were there for that investigation, weren't you, Devin? Was I? Yeah, episode three. We went to uh, the same um, apartment complex. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, oh, islands. yeah, yeah. Or, no, yeah. Yeah. islands or something. I don't know. Yeah, islands. Yeah. 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 It was just the other person, not the... Oh, you guys want to know what any more? <laughs> Devin? What? Step, step four? <laughs> Please. Uh, step, step four. All right. Step oh, four. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, contrary possession. to popular yeah. belief, uh, possession is not demons entering a person's body and taking over his or his soul. Um, right. A person's free will never be removed, only severely compromised. In possession, a person is so physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually broken down by going through the other three stages that demonic spirits are able to seize occasional control over that person's actions. Um, let's see. Oh, it says some signs. Um, signs of possession include superhuman strength. Um, speaking in, wow, I get powers. Um, speaking in a language the victim doesn't know. Um, an ordinate language... Wait. An ordinate aversion to holy objects, knowledge of events or facts the victim cannot possibly know, and according to... Wait a minute. What? Knowledge of events to facts that the victim could not possibly know? Cameron! Cameron knew <laughs> the ghost that was at Melissa's house. Like, the name of the <laughs> ghost that was... Oh, I, I mean, he is kind of like a median, but whatever. Anyways. In a way, yeah. Um... That's I mean, funny. after the main investigation, I wouldn't be surprised if he is. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you guys, you guys will see once the video gets released why I said that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think the best example, because, like, in the. In that statement, it said, you know, popular beliefs is a demon will enter your body. That's not actually what happens. And I think the best example of that is The Conjuring 2. Um, at the very end of the movie... The nun was standing in a corner, and the girl was going to commit suicide, pretty much. So, the nun, or Valak, wasn't inside her, but was controlling what she was doing. So... Well, that's Hollywood. But that, I, was, I was just thinking this. So why why put a crucifix on someone's head if a demon isn't actually in you? I've never heard of someone putting a crucifix on someone's head before. Yeah, that's that's actually what they use during a um exorcism. And that's what they do. They put they put the holy water, they make the cross on the head and they put with the holy water, and then they place the crucifix on their head. I'm guessing if or the cross, or whatever, whatever third-party demon is controlling the person's actions, 
maybe it can be stopped if you put that on the person. I don't know. Yeah, I, w I was just like thinking a, that. like Maybe like a blessing or some sort of like protection? Well, it definitely is, but I know one of the, I guess, prayers is I cast you out of this soul or I cast you out of this body into hell or however it goes. And now the that, body? yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I got I got fifty cents. I'm rich. <laughs> um, I you're next to him. Oh, you said bunny. I thought you said money. Oh yeah. <laughs> because I thought you were here and oh, that is fucking adorable. I... Yeah. It's the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. So yeah, Hello. they got bunnies and chickens here. Okay. But so for people that are uh not watching this. The bunny literally poked its n nozzle through the the chain fence. It was adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I had turkeys in my yard. Ah, oh, good job. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was a family too. <laughs> Can you feed them to your snake? <laughs> um, nope. The snake is too small for that. But she, right is get, she is getting bigger, though. All right, well, that's all I wanted to talk about. You guys want to talk about anything else? Um, talk about some of our past investigations? What are the investigations? You know, there, hmm. there's one place I want to bring... I guess this new team. Yes. And is uh Penhurst. Oh. Be because I mean Devin I can reach for Hey, no, it would only be eight. <laughs> Cause we would be taking the turnpike. Um but I think Devin can vouch for me when I say this. It wasn't exactly, I guess, fun the first no. time we went. So, it was, it was nice to see everything, but all investigation wise, it was like, it was different. I mean, I, I, personally, I was stressed. I was upset. Not, let me be clear, not anything Penhurst did. They did an amazing job with hosting just but, members in the past that we don't want to really yeah. discuss with them but just previous so, members we had that's all we can say yeah I'm I'm not gonna get into the drama part whatever they probably, just... they probably know they probably know how we feel about it but it's just I know we just keep bringing it up but it's just something that but just, I want to go I want to go to Penhurst with you guys. Um, Gettysburg, that's on a, Ooh. that's on our my bucket list, anyways. I mean, my, if, uh, technically, Waverly's still in play right now. <laughs> huh? My uh, technically, Waverly's still paid for. <laughs> you just had to bring up Waverly, so yeah. yes. We were supposed to go to Waverly's this year, but there's some stuff, personal stuff that happened. Um, we were actually supposed to be there this week. Um, mm, is it, well, is it, is it this week? Yeah, yeah it was. It the was week. No. Are you sure? No, I thought it was supposed to be the 26th or the 30th. Uh, Either way. But anyways, uh, we were supposed to go... 12 to the 6th. Whatever. There. Whatever. <laughs> um, we were supposed to go, and some personal stuff happened, and it's not a place where we can just drive to. We literally had to fly. I mean, we live all the way up in Vermont, Vermont and it's all the way down in Kentucky, so... We made the team decision to 
cancel going this year and we got the Wilson Castle instead. So Devin is right. Um it is still paid for technically. I guess surprise um, appearance. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something, though. That that would be another thing that I just want to say is if you book an overnight stay somewhere, almost ten out of ten times you lose that money if you don't go. So definitely make sure. Um, definitely make sure you want to go, I guess. So, obviously, we all had personal reasons why we couldn't go. Um, we're not going to get into it, but we will go at some point. At some point, we will make it down to Louisville. So. And... Another thing is I didn't want to force it either, if that makes sense. Because then it's not then it's not fun. So I just we just kind of left it alone and we found something else and it's going to be a great investigation, I feel. Yep. The only the, the only castle in the state of Vermont the only real castle in the city of Vermont. Is that a fact? Yeah, that that is a fact. Hmm. And Devin, we won't be freezing like we were last time. Yeah, well, hopefully we're not sweating either. Yeah. <laughs> so so for anyone listening and watching, I just want to be clear. So we used to film our Halloween special on either the night before Halloween or the night of Halloween. And Tristan uh, said, why don't we film it in like August or September? That way we have a month to um, edit stuff. I'm like, that's not a bad idea. So we, we did that with the Conjuring House. We had to. If we wanted it if we want it ready by Halloween. Um, so we tried it and it felt it worked pretty good. So that's why if you see pictures of, you know, like the, last year, I'm going to do it again this year on, um, on our page. For 31 days, I put a different picture up of the Halloween special, kind of promoting it. And I had questions like, how could you already have pictures if you're not there yet? That's why, because we go a month or two in advance and film and then release release it on Halloween. That way we can give you guys the best that we can. There is something that I wanted to actually start doing in a similar vein as that. Um, and maybe we could do it after the Halloween special. I'm not sure. Um, so I kind of wanted to start making use more of a Patreon by... And a lot of people do this. So if we get, like, let's say two investigations and we edit both of them, we can throw one of them on Patreon keep the second one and then in like two weeks upload the first one to youtube then put our second one on patreon and then in two more weeks we can put them all on youtube that way patreon is getting early access to a video um yeah i, I like that idea because i mean there's a lot of people i don't know if anyone watches like reaction channels <laughs> but like <laughs> let's say someone's reacting to like a show like the arrow or any it could be any kind of show um that has multiple seasons i mean when you're watching it you might be watching them you know doing season one but if you go on their patreon they're probably all the way up to like season three now all of it's going to eventually right. go onto youtube but you can always go and become a patreon or whatever to get early access 
of course that would be free because we're kind of trying to do more of a community um before we kind of do anything with money with patreon but that was just kind of right. my idea is that once we get more established and do because like for example when we do this investigation with the halloween investigation with the wilson's castle it's a 16 hour investigation so like yeah that's 16 hours <laughs> worth that we got to sift through for evidence but a lot of people think that it's just it's not just 16 hours there's multiple povs <laughs> or, so like yeah, i could be filming, a lot of there people. could be a stationary camera uh there could be yeah. ryan's point of view while i'm filming my point of view and with the wilson's castle i saw it's a big place like we're gonna need yeah, that it, it is it so is, like, like <laughs> whenever like the big investigations that that's probably gonna have to that might not be an early access thing but <laughs> If we do yeah. like haunted haven and stuff like uh episode three that should be relatively easy to edit because it was like i think we were there for like only like two hours or something um, yeah and i think maybe two uh povs yeah yeah there wasn't much evidence so it's not gonna be too difficult um so like if we had like five of those Right, so five is always right. gonna stay on Patreon, and they're gonna just keep. We're gonna keep posting them to Patreon, and Patreon's gonna keep posting them to YouTube eventually. Like we'll just have a rotation. It, it'll just be nice, right. I think. I don't know. Yeah, no, I like that idea. Um, yeah, I, I just remember last year with the uh, Conjuring. We were, who was editing? Me, oh, I wasn't you, gonna bring and Nate. I wasn't going to bring that up. No, what? <laughs> I didn't want to throw Nate under the bus. <laughs> no, no. I'm not going to say anything about the editing, but we were editing all the way up until a oh, week yeah. before Halloween. So oh, yeah. it, it does take a lot of time to edit because you have to go through all the videos, pictures, uh, EVPs. And you got to play like... around with the when those shows like Ghost Adventures, they have like a company. <laughs> they have well, people to. That, they have I'm... multiple people that do it. Um, I remember my schedule was literally: I wake up, I eat something quickly, I edit, quickly get ready for work, go to work, edit on my breaks, get home from work, quickly eat something, edit, and then go to bed. And that was like my oh, schedule yeah. for a while. <laughs> But uh, I bring my laptop. laptop? You're allowed to. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't need Wi-Fi to use my editing software. All of it's already downloaded onto my computer. Oh. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. I mean, with like shows like Ghost Adventures, and I know back in the day, uh, Ghost Hunters, they did it. I think a year in advance because you know they have cameras yeah. running non-stop all night that even though they got companies that do it they have to sit there and watch every camera and every movement on that camera so plus with all the uh the places they go to within a given season that's a lot of footage yeah oh, yeah. yeah that too yeah, yeah. I mean, even Ghost oh. Adventures, like, they say that, you know, they're on lockdown for the entire night. And, like, yeah. they, I would forgot how many episodes they do in a season. But, I mean, that's, that's a lot. I mean, they're up to, what is it now, 20, they season 24? Yeah, I think 24. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's 24 now. I can check real quick. I know they're in the 20s. Yeah. I got their page pulled up right here. Wow, 28. Really? 28. Wow. Jeez. Wow. That's crazy. I, I... Oh, Assuming crap. those yeah, come out that... yearly, right? I think so. Yeah, like I just... wonder. They might have. Well, I, I don't know where you're looking, Nate, but I know, like, on a. Uh max it's you know they got the ghost adventures then they got um the covid oh, yeah yeah so you gotta think about that too 
Yeah, they mm-hmm. have multiple series, yeah. and they have you know yeah. their own documentaries that they edit. The mm. screaming rooms, and yeah. Actually, I was just going through uh, the 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 latest season, and there's a place now I really want to go to after seeing it. Where is that? Skinwalker Ranch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Probably a, mis- probably a mistake. <laughs> That'd be cool to explore. Our uh, Cameron wants to go to uh, Goatman's Bridge. Yep. So bad. I want to go too, but I feel like we'll go there and nothing happens. Yeah. That's See, I'm not. I'm not scared of whatever is there. I'm scared of the snakes that are there. Because those are <laughs> real snakes. Yo, we should like be there for like 3 a.m. Do real on time. Right on time. Right on time. <laughs> We'll rent a canoe and we'll have someone go out just like in that Ghost Adventures episode and make someone go on a canoe. <laughs> oh. Devin, that's your job. Devin, oh. when you uh <laughs> got so um did you I forgot. I know you got stuff at the store. Did you actually get a camera or did you not get a camera? I don't remember. No, I just bought You didn't my... okay. Good. The splitter and the two tripods so with lights. Sweet. Awesome. I was just asking because we only have a limited supply of SD cards. <laughs> well, I, so, see, what I happened have... to all our SD cards? No, we have well, them. I... It's just they're not, they're, they're like one. 32 gigabytes, right? Yeah. So oh, it's not okay, a lot. Okay. I mean, in my main yeah. camera, I have like 128 gigabyte SD card, which is like good. It's good enough. Um, we have we have one that's 128. I thought. Yeah, that's I the one that's inside my my camera. Oh, okay. is this when we get just like hundreds of SD cards and just you know always have a backup ready? Well, that's the yeah. thing. When I got my camera, literally, I was looking online like, okay, well, I know if we're going in a haunted place, I'm gonna have to have a backup battery because it's just gonna drain it. Um, and I was looking at the stuff, and there was this guy. He was walking on a mountain. And he was vlogging, and he's like, "You gotta be prepared." And he shows up a bag, and the bag is filled with like thirty batteries. I'm like, "How long are you gonna be out there?" <laughs> like, what? I I don't know. But the batteries are actually not that bad. I think they were. So the official batteries were like seventy dollars a piece, but that's because they were like the official version. But just regular lithium, lithium. I forgot how many wattage it was. Um. Uh, I I actually bought two off-brand ones and they they work perfectly fine. I think they were like twenty thirty dollars. It was pretty good. Um, Not bad. And I got a charger. So does Wilson does Wilson's castle have power? Yes. Yes. Okay. In some room. Okay. No, I mean... Do they allow you to plug things in? Yes. Okay, so we could probably plug in like that battery charger and we'll we'll be set. Do we um, have a power strip or do we have one? No, I was just about to say that we, we probably should grab a power one. strip. I have an actual one. What's like the... Uh, 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 huh? We have all our big tote with our, like, everything. We so still have we it, but we, we have it, but we don't need it because they're just cords. Well, there should be a power strip in there, I thought. That's what I'm going to look for. Okay, well, I'll bring one just in case. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm, glad we, I'm glad we had this conversation. <laughs> I just gotta remember it. What are you saying, Nate? Uh, what is, like, the biggest, like, thing that happened at Wilson's Castle? Any, like, big uh, paranormal thing? Oh, like, kid running. Kid shadow running. Yeah, yeah. we got a shadow r- running across the camera. Um... With the orb, I I would say, though. <laughs> so we were. This was Devin's like real first yeah. investigation. Yeah. So yeah. we were kind of playing pranks on him when the cameras were off. Oh yeah. Fuck um, you guys. <laughs> so we went. Me and Colby went around because you guys will see it, and everyone will see it. Because we're going to film on the tour, because they do allow that, unless they change the rules. Um, Can I interrupt you real quick? 
Yes. We should describe in the video what the fuck you guys actually did for pranking me, like behind the scenes. Because I oh, still we don't, will. Know, don't, I don't know what the fuck you guys did, really. I re- don't worry. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so where we're going to be the headquarters is kind of like, what would you say, Devin? Like a backup kitchen? It, no, it is a kitchen. Yeah, but the other side of the door was a kitchen too. It, it, no, that's the dining. That's like a, it's like the, it's the butler's like corridor kind of where the the butler yeah. has access to go to the kitchen and come. Okay, out. so yeah, so me and Colby ran to the other side of the door, knocked on it, ran away because Devin was the only one in the headquarter room. <laughs> And we come around, we're like, Devin, what's wrong? <laughs> and you're like, someone just knocked at the door. And then me and Colby started laughing, and we're like, yeah, that was us. And then all of a sudden, we hear, oh. on the other side of the door, and all, all of us that were there were in the room, and Devin's like, all right, you guys, you can cut it out. We're like... <laughs> Yeah, man, we're all standing right here. That wasn't <laughs> one of us. So, I would What's say kind of that was... That what? What's kind of scary about that, too, is those three knocks. Oh, yeah. I I can't remember if it was three knocks. I mean, there's nothing in that place that's demonic. Yeah. I guess the only really is a sad... I can't remember her name. Was it Sarah? I think uh, so. I think it's Sarah. We'll find out when we go, but uh, she's just a sad, a sad woman. And then the kid, he just likes to play. He kept playing with the REM pod. Yeah. There's a guy there that had a heart attack on the staircase. Yeah. yeah. Um. Other than that, though, I mean, it's they are active. Yeah, but... did you say it's more active, or maybe not as active as like the Conjuring House? Um, like I, I said, I want to, I want to say the Conjuring House is very active. I think we just went on an off night, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so. we... Devin, you were sleeping most of the night. How would you know? <laughs> well, it's the first time I've seen a fucking door open, I can tell you that. Well, as much as I yeah. hate to admit it, I do agree with Devin, and that's kind of a tragedy. But, anyways, we did get wow. quite a... <laughs> <laughs> we did get quite a bit of stuff. Like, uh, we got EVP yeah, but... talking to Cameron, and... We, we got, no, we got yeah, stuff. But I, I, we did get good stuff, but I was In expecting, a short you know... Time, we got good stuff. Doors opening into the I guess I set my expectations up too high. I guess that was my fault, but you know, I'm expecting to see a Hollywood. No, I wasn't. That's the thing. I wasn't thinking Hollywood. But I'm expecting to see a full body apparition. I'm expecting, you know, yeah, furniture to be moving and stuff like that. And we didn't the only thing we really got that we cannot explain besides the EVPs were the door opening. And it happened three times. Um, There's also that white light that was in the basement. That was really weird. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. And I don't think we felt Wait, it. Wait, I forgot about that. Yeah. Wait, we, the I don't know. Yeah, I even we were in the basement and we were just talking. I forgot what the timeline was, but I think everyone was in the basement. And I think Devin looked over and Saw a white light, just like so, was like that it was. When Ian first went downstairs, I think it may have been, and there was just like a white yeah. dot that was floating in air, and we were like, yep. "What the heck?" And we went over to it, and then it just faded away. It was like what? <laughs> like huh? I didn't even know about. And that was in the exact same spot that the tour guy told us um, that that's when that that was like the woman walking past the window, and then looked at him. And was no, confused. I don't, I don't think was, I don't think oh I my god! <laughs> oh. So I gotta send. Wait, I gotta oh. send you guys. I gotta send you guys a video. Um. So I followed the Conjuring House on TikTok, and 
I gotta find it because it was a while ago. But they have evidence. They uh, mashed together all the evidence that they captured because if you go there, you'll see all their cameras set up. Oh yeah. So it's all the evidence they collected on those cameras. <laughs> and what you just said with the ball of light floating right near that window, they captured that. Really? Wow. Yeah. So you yeah. probably could validate it if you saw it. Yeah. That wow. I wow. completely forgot about that ball of light that we saw. Um I didn't see it. It wasn't me that I noticed it. Um <laughs> All right, I'm putting your text back on the screen, Devin. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Yeah, I mean, like, when we first went, we were kind of, we were still a new group. So we were, I don't know, I guess we weren't. We were still kind of trying to figure each other out, I guess is the best way to put it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Shut up, Devin. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't think the first time we went, we really paid attention like we should have. Well, I think even like, the little bit weird, like, pointed that out. Huh? Like through the, the camera. I think one of the spirits was like, Pointing that out too, in a way. Right, no, that was at the yeah, that was at the Conjuring House. It said they mm-hmm. won't focus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm talking about at the Wilson Castle. Oh, okay. So, oh. but this time, I think it'll be a lot better. Yeah, and especially, uh, especially with new members, new experiences, maybe. Yeah, I'm excited about it. We're gonna lock Devin into a room by himself. Um, I'm not locking me in. I'm just saying. I'm gonna and just remember, you didn't sleep. have Cameron with you last time. Yeah, oh, we didn't have Cameron. So Cameron on there. I'm second guessing this now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, you're the one that brought it up. You're like, yeah, let's do it. Well, no, like, we, uh... like, I don't get that much sleep at night. So it's like, even if I sleep throughout the, if I wake up even in the afternoon, I'm still not going to be able to make it throughout the whole night. I can tell you that Devin, right now. Devin, you get your own segment. It's okay. I know. That's, you do, that's you, actually yeah. the first thing you guys are actually giving me. <laughs> well, damn. Do you want to you wanna wow. host? <laughs> yeah. Do you need a hug? <laughs> a hug would be nice. Devin, all you gotta do is just step up and have a good idea and make it happen. You know? Yeah, because I did that. All right. But now I'm second guessing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I mean, what we were gonna uh, call it. Devin. I mean, me and Cameron had the idea of doing legends, and then realized that. Ryan has already kind of done legends on the channel um, by just giving the backstory around places. And here's the idea you and Cameron do legends, and I'll just be sleeping in the background. And when I say, and once I fall fully asleep, because I'll be snoring, you guys just leave. That's fine. Well, I, not, I mean, be your, be- do you want to do that tonight then? Because this is Legends. <laughs> <I don't> oh. <laughs> you didn't let me this? finish. You just kind of cut me off. <laughs> oh, I thought we were doing Legends at Wilson Castle again, like you guys did at the Connor House. Well, so Legends was a series that we were doing with Cameron, but, and I don't want to throw Cameron on the bus. Uh, we'll it, was just, under the bus. It, it was hard to make videos specified for Legends, so we thought. Well, we're editing a lot for our actual paranormal investigations. Let's just have Legends be something that we don't really have to spend a lot of time editing. And we thought, let's just turn it into a podcast because we don't really have a podcast. And we did have a podcast, but not an official podcast. Um, right. That's when we turned Legends into an actual podcast instead of a video-by-video video basis. Um, 
So I don't know if the, I don't know if your idea would work, Devin, unless you would like to stay, unless you want to have a camera set up in your room tonight and we just live stream and just see what happens. <laughs> I'd pay to watch that. I mean, I mean, I got security cameras. <laughs> Yo, I got one charger. I, I can literally. I have one charger right now. I could. <laughs> You're making Ryan face palm. <laughs> what? I'm serious. All I have to do is manually record on my phone and it'll manually record. I do know up there, if I remember right, you get no service. Oh, yeah. Service is a no phone service. I mean, you could record yeah. it, but I ain't fucking watching through that footage. <laughs> I is got, I got shit to do. I got no, to do investigations. Your... Yeah, yeah, Devin, that's your job. If you want that, you you gotta watch through it. Listen, I'm over here editing the investigations. After this podcast is done, I'm gonna have to edit it, put the music at the start, go through it, and probably delete a bunch of uh, sections where there's no one talking. I'll probably have to listen through it like twice. Um, we're pretty good at that. And then I'll have to Every... upload it on a um a podcast site. And I want to figure out the YouTube podcast because there's actually a section on YouTube for podcasts on our channel, and I just haven't looked at that. I guess I have enough shit going on. That's my point. <laughs> I ain't watching the, your your fucking video. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So. Before we go, and I think I asked you guys this in our group chat, but I want to put it out there for anyone that wants a comment or anything. Where would you guys like to go? Or where would you uh, where would you guys like to see us go? Salem. Salem. Oh, you asking uh, us? Um, I'm asking you and anyone listening yeah. and watching that want to yeah. comment. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, the most popular haunting is the Conjuring House, um, but yeah. I think I think that <laughs> I don't know. I don't really. It know doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be in New England either. For me, if it's um, possible, yeah. For me, if it was possible, uh, Alcatraz. Yes. Ooh, that's a. Good I just one. heard. I don't know if this is true, but I heard a rumor that they're starting to let paranormal teams go there. Really? Where yes. Is? Oh, I'm uh, so Alcatraz. Oh yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised in the next couple couple years or so we see Ghost Adventures go there. Right. Didn't they? Yeah. I thought they went there already. They did. I think one more. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. So, I know there's a couple that swim from Alcatraz to San Fran. Yeah, why? I don't know why. I don't know. I just watched a video of... Uh, just a couple, they swim from Alcatraz to the, like, a beach right on San Francisco. Oh, that's mm. how the prisoners escaped. Yeah, but I just, I, it was just something that popped up. I was like, oh, this is interesting. So I just watched it. So, yeah, definitely Alcatraz. I thought there were no prisoners ever escaped there, though. None were recorded. Oh. There were attempts. Okay. And pretty much the guards, once again, the water, they just let them go and either they escaped or they got eaten by the sharks or got <laughs> pulled in by the tide. <laughs> or they construct, constructed this mythical flying plane and they flew off the roof. <laughs> If you, if you get that reference. <laughs> I don't think you guys get that reference. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought they were dead the whole time. Huh? 
<laughs> yeah, they were dead the whole time. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. If there's a way we could do like the Bermuda Triangle, that would be something. That would be cool. Do you know if we uh if we know all of the investigators in Vermont? Do we know all the investigator like all yeah. the teams? Yeah. I don't even know I don't even know us. Oh, I can promise you they know us. At least two of them know of us. Well, Three of them. Yeah, how many are there? That's total? the thing. I, I, I don't know how many teams there are. I know, obviously, us. I'm not going to name any other teams. Yeah. Um, I guess the popular ones know of us, I would mm. say. And the only one that probably wouldn't would be TAPS. And I'm not even sure they're they were they're they're the ghost hunters. You know the T V yeah. show? Yeah. They had a Vermont based team. But I don't even know if they're still around. Oh, Jason Hobbs. Yes. yes, they were associated with him, but they weren't him. It was like a completely sense. Different thing. Yeah, they were they were part of them, but yeah, none of their investigations were on TV. Mm. So I guess they would be the only ones that they're still around that might not know of us and maybe some new teams. But so what, are, what are the other ones? Uh, cause I don't know any other teams. Devin, yes, you do. I'm not gonna name. I'm not gonna name drop names, but yeah. I promise you. For the sake of it, you're now muted. Go ahead. Yeah, you're muted. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Tristan. Unmuted. I I would say that we're the teams I just listed and us are about as popular as there is in Vermont. And I'm not I'm not bragging or anything, it's just because Vermont is a small state. Yeah. So Well hey now I don't I don't know if it fully I don't I don't know you I know you didn't mean it that way, but I'm just saying I don't think popularity certainly matters when it comes to knowing the other paranormal groups in vermont um i know that the no. teams you listed i'm just wondering if there's more in vermont that we don't i'm know. sure yeah I'm sure I, wonder, there are. I wonder if there's a I'm way sure we can get in contact because it would be cool to plan something i mean like i know the triangle yeah i know uh there is this facebook page it's called Haunted Vermont, and the, I've seen some teams, like some group of people. I wouldn't necessarily call them a team, but they go out and do investigations at, like, cemeteries and stuff. They're trying. I will give them that. They're trying. Um, but, so, yeah, I there are groups of people out there that, not just us and the teams I listed. I I just listed the teams I know of that actually have a I guess a baseline of a team. Yeah. Right. Well, one of them is in question. Yeah. But <laughs> um so yeah, I'm, I'm it, looking at the, the page, and they are going places. Wait, what's it called again? Haunted Vermont. Wait, uh, they're, what just in, they're just oh, in, like, they're yeah. just making posts um, quite yeah. regularly. And that yeah, you're places, making so, podcasts, yeah, too. Yeah, we could, like, yeah, can we do their podcast? Yeah, Wait, was yeah, that the yeah, podcast yeah, yeah. we were on? 
Yeah, yeah, I feel, yeah. yeah. Oh. By the way, we do get another podcast that we got invited to. I um, don't know. He just yeah, didn't well, do any videos of it. I think it's the 28th or the 29th of next month. Yeah, the seventeenth. Yeah, I thought it was sixteenth yes. or seventeenth. Okay. Yeah, I'll be. Yeah. I'll be on. Okay. I'm going to Boston. I'm so done to be on there. Yeah, I'm going on there as well. Yeah. Are you um, it's it's, it's in the Discord. It's, I'm sure we'll find it. But I guess to answer your. Um, is uh you never really we never really done a collaboration yeah and they can be good but at the same time they can be definitely annoying right because you got one team that wants to you know do it the way they want to do it but you know what i mean like not What's the best way to put it? Like, okay, here, here's an example. Remember the investigation we were going to do up on Cobble Hill? Yeah. Yep. Well, we were trying to film our intro. And there was another team there that I invited that kept interrupting our intro. So we had to keep redoing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's definitely hard, but if you get the right people, it can be a lot of fun to do collabs and stuff like that. But you definitely got to know them and trust them before, especially in the paranormal. Yeah. So. It's kind of weird how the guy in Haunted Vermont, he's friends with a person on the team in Paranormal Investigators in New England. Uh, what? Yeah. what the guy so the guy you guys did the podcast with the Haunt of Vermont. Yeah. I guess he, he's friends with a person in a group called Paranormal Investigators of New England. And he used to the Wilson Castle yesterday. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. It, I can't remember if it was them or someone else, so I don't want to. I'll I'll discuss it with you guys after. I know. Because well, I don't want to say something I don't want to. Whenever we uh, whenever we get to the point where we're bigger and you know we'll actually be able to get in contact with other teams and stuff. Um, yeah. I think the only way we can really do a collaboration is. We only do it with real teams. And I don't want to say that with... Uh, I say that with confidence, but also caution. Because, yeah. I mean, when right. we post... Like... Like, so, for example, we post full links on our Patreon um, whenever we record them. That way people know that we didn't even have time to edit <laughs> things into it. So they can go ahead and dissect it and they'll know that our investigations and the stuff that we catch are actually real. But I don't want to collaborate with a team that might exaggerate too much or, um, you know, right. around that realm. I get what you're saying. So the only way we can really can, uh, um, have a collaboration is if we talk to the team and let them know that this is how we do things. Um but at the same time, I mean, imagine something like the a really big area like the Bermuda Triangle. Um, you know, we're not up in each other's grills. We just go to a place together. We hang out. Then we go our separate ways, do our own yep. investigations, come back. It's kind and of a collaboration, but it's... No, that, that would be good. Yeah. I you definitely have, like, don't think we should, like, go to, like, uh, something like Wilson's Castle and do a collaboration, no. uh, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, well, it depends who it's with. I mean, if it's with, if it's with, if it's if it's with, with if it's like with someone Jason that we Oz. really trust, it's. 
yeah. I mean, there's going to be a couple new people there at the Wilson Castle, and we'll see how they do. Um, I definitely feel like the four of us can make, I guess, that judge. I, I don't like using the word judgment, but um, yeah, that's the best way I can put it. I'd say we should blindfold one of them and just have them have headphones on. Well, that's what I was thinking. Uh, with, well, yeah. It's, it's kind of funny. I have a blindfold. I'll bring whenever... the blindfold. Whenever like there's someone doing an Ouija board session, I always kind of want to put up put on a blindfold, then do this, then do the Ouija board session, so we know <laughs> that you know, you're not spelling funny. out something. It's kind of funny. <laughs> kind of funny you brought up Ouija boards because I can't remember if I posted a picture of. I know I posted before pictures of Ouija boards, and oh, yeah. there's been people that's. That tell me, oh, you gotta be careful with that. That thing is so dangerous. And I go, why? How is it so dangerous? I mean, there's nothing. I mean, I I know Tristan's heard this interview, the the interview we were doing at the cemetery, and I was talking about Ouija boards. Yeah. There, there's really there is, but there isn't. A difference from what we do versus using a Ouija board. We're yeah. still inviting the spirit to contact with us. Um, yeah, I I'm kind of a skeptic when it comes to Ouija boards. What would what would make me a skeptic? So I want to try this actually. And I want to open up the board and then everyone take their hands off. If that, if it moves by itself, that will convince me that Ouija boards are real. And I have yet seen, I have yet to see that. Mm. So. It's also yeah, very bro. easy, not even, it's, it's just, it's also very easy to like not consciously fake, fake it. Like there was a time when me and you were doing a Ouija yes. board, and I was letting the the iris slide under my fingers, so I knew that I wasn't pushing it. I felt it slide under, and you could actually see it on the camera. It, and then I was, remember that was the investigation we didn't post. But um, and then I yes, remember we did. I remember asking you if you were pushing it or not, and you generally said, "I don't know." But then that's yeah, when I told you. I was just about to say that I'm like, I don't know if I'm doing it or not. And then when I told you just like just barely touch it and let it slide underneath your fingers, it stopped moving completely. So it, it's exactly. super so easy I wasn't, to not consciously or do it. Yeah, I wasn't it trying was, to. I wasn't trying to move it on purpose. It was yeah. just. You, yeah. So. I would say a Ouija board is one of the most easiest things to fake without knowing you're faking it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, you got people out there that say, well, why don't you use it? Use it. Use it. We have done it and nothing has happened. And we've got a video of us using it and nothing's happened. I guess the only weird thing that's happened is me and Colby used one and it felt like electricity was going through our fingers but other than that it was I think you need to like not if you play by the rules on how to play it you should be okay well, do you think I mean. it also maybe depends on like the person's energy with who not they're fair. using it with so yeah. that's another thing that's an yes but that's another thing that I want to bring up all these games, like the Four Corners games, which I still want to try. I think we should try that at the Wilson Castle. It's fucking terrifying, but I'm down. <laughs> yes, I do it. <laughs> you know, Ouija boards, all these games have certain rules that you got to follow. 
Oh, I like but these demonic, pre- but these demonic presents don't follow rules themselves. So I get it. You're trying to summon something, and you got to have certain steps. But who's to say things won't go wrong? If you know what I mean. Well, yeah. so what happens is. So when we were at the main investigation, we didn't really show fear that much. We were kind of like, do your worst, because we knew we were filming and we were about to get something fantastic. But, like, yep. the moment when Lou ran out, like, she's terrified. And I'm sure that when we're not there, she feels that fear, and it's almost like it feeds off the fear, and it gives it more power to do yeah. stuff. And so this, yeah, this happened no, with the, like... um, have you ever heard of the Charlie Charlie Challenge? Yeah. So it that's just good. that yeah. that's completely fake. But the thing is is that some people actually got real stuff on it because so many people were scared out of their minds when they were doing it. Right. And they actually invited right. something it, they conjured something. So right. if we yep. did the four corners, even if four corners that, that game is not real, if we believe that it's real and we're we're scared to do it, something might happen. Like we might actually right. open it and conjure something. Um Right. And there was actually, there was actually a time where I thought that my home, or my childhood home, was haunted because I started seeing stuff. But that was around the time I was kind of having like night terrors, um, and I was kind of just hallucinating things a little bit. And my parents got really mad at me because they were like, "We know there's nothing here." Stop it, or you're gonna conjure something, <laughs> and that snapped me out of it. I stopped having the hallucinations. But it was if you believe in something enough, it something will happen. Um, yeah, no, it's de- kind of definitely. So I think you that's kind of what happens with the Ouija boards. You almost bring it into existence. I guess the best way to put in it. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. We've been on for two hours. So, do we want to call it there? Sure. Okay. Before we call it, I'd like to, um, share some of our uh, stuff with um each party of the YouTube and the podcast world. So, uh. The podcast through listeners, um, we are New England Paranormal Researchers on YouTube, Facebook, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Do we have any other socials? I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't remember. Um, if you find our Facebook or our YouTube, everything should be linked. The next time we do a podcast episode, we might actually stream on Facebook rather than YouTube, just because on Facebook we have a more of a following. Um, If you would like to chat with us while we're doing a podcast, you can most certainly just be on the lookout for the next time we do a podcast. It might be a while. We don't know. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on after the Halloween investigation. Um, And for the YouTuber listeners and watchers, uh, go check us out on um, any podcasting, really. We're on Spotify, um, Apple. What is is the Apple one? Uh, not iTunes. It's Apple Apple Podcasts. Um, um, and we're, we're on... I forgot how many we're on, but we're on quite a bit of them. Um, just yeah. search up Legends. You should find us. Um, if not, it is in the description of this video. Um, yep. Is there anything that you guys like to say? I don't know. <laughs> Evan, you got anything? <laughs> Stay safe. You feel the animals. <laughs> yeah. Stay safe. Filthy. Yeah. I'm alone. Reference. <laughs> um. Uh. Well, the only thing that I'll say to end it off with is, uh, be tuned for a Halloween investigation. I'm sure that'll be fun. All right. See you guys. Oh, hopefully there will be more investigations before. There, there will be. There'll be more investigation. So, yes. Yeah. All right. See you guys.